Hi everybody, today we're talking about how I monitor this wood burner without using Wi-Fi locally to this area. So a lot of people, um, you know, will have Wi-Fi potentially uh, within the reach of their wood burner. And so a simple solution that people use is to use an app like uh, Fireboard, where it's actually, I think, like a, almost a barbecue monitor also. It's a temperature probe that they put into the water uh, uh, kind of fill up here. Then it has a Wi-Fi readout that can go to their phone and they can monitor it that way. Um, I don't have Wi-Fi here. Now, in order for the Wi-Fi to reach from my house, I could have gotten a booster to make it reach from here. I just didn't want to do that also because there's, I mean, it becomes more complex. There's the cost of a booster plus the monitoring system. And I was just never sold on spending that much money um, just for this, though I could see it being worth it. Uh, so what I did was something totally different. Um, it's uh, a system called Emporia Energy Monitor. Now, it's a multifaceted thing that I can use it for way more than my wood burner and I already have. So I won't show like the installation of it and things like that. Um, it can get kind of messy, but what it is, is it's a device that goes in your electrical box, uh, in your breaker box, in your house. It has clamps that go on around each of the wires going to your breakers. And then it can monitor the energy used by whatever is going into that breaker. Now, you may say, well, that doesn't tell me the temperature of this and so on and so forth. Correct, it doesn't tell you the temperature, but let me go into detail on how I use it to pretty well monitor this and, and to see what this needs and how it's doing. So I, within the app, like I said, it breaks down by breakers and, and clamps uh, and the electrical readout. Now I can tell you instantaneous like by the second what it's reading you can switch to minute mode hour day week month and year um, so looking at it from a minute perspective and it shows nice bar graphs that that show time history is i know that this wood burner takes about 10 minutes 10 10 to 13 minutes to heat up from the 170 to 180 degrees that uh, i have it set to now if it takes longer than that, well, it depends if we're drawn from the house, but let's say this thing has to run for 20 or 30 minutes. Well, I know I have some sort of issue, with the issue being either A, it's out of wood, or B, um, like I had the other day, um, since my nozzle is kind of worn out, it got choked with coals, and it wasn't getting enough airflow to actually heat this thing up. And so it, uh, I have indicators set up that if it runs uh, for too long and how I do that is again it, it's reading the energy usage so I can say that if it's running I think it's point uh, I think if it's running 540 watts for like more than you know 15 minutes it alerts me on my phone and I know based on the history of when I first got the meter that 540 watts is the combination of everything running on this breaker because I don't have much on it. I've got the water pump and the wood burner pretty much and, and a couple lights, but that's about it. So based on that, I have it notify me pretty well. As soon as it's past my limit of, I know there's an issue, it'll tell me that, hey, it's, it's using a lot of energy and, uh, you know, just letting you know. And then I know to come out here to fill it or monitor it or something like that. Now, in terms of your house, uh, again, outside the wood burner, I can use that to tell, you know, if something is running too long, you can set up other notifications, like if your fridge is running too long or your stove or something like that. And, and that's how it's a whole monitor that, that you can use for your whole house and things like that. Um, so that is looking at it from a minute perspective. Looking at it from an hour perspective, you can quickly see when the wood burner ran so that you can look at the number of cycles that you had in however many hours because again using like fireboard you know it'll show on the graph up and down up and down you can see that too so that's how i get the same information there and then of course you can look at um 
the days, uh, and you'll see it, it's fairly um, even tone for all of all of the days because my my circulator pump runs all the time and it's a constant power output. And really, the fan that's used to heat the wood burner, you know, doesn't really use that much energy considering it it runs for maybe a total of I mean, let's say an hour a day, because like I said, maybe 10, 15 minutes to a cycle. Um, I, I guess more than that. At most two hours, you know, let's say 15 minutes a cycle, you know, eight cycles, which I don't think it does in a day, you know, that, that's two hours right there. So there's not too much energy that, that's used on that fan. Then I'll show you here also looking at, you know, the week or the month, how also consistent it is week to week that's for sure and that's regardless of temperature we've had really cold we've had really warm and it's pretty well consistent again i think that's because it comes back to mainly just my water pump uh the circulator pump running and then on the month view of course you can see um you know there's fluctuations based on the season you know i only ran it so much in october can't remember if I ran it in September this year. You'll you'll see it on the graph, um, and and so that that tells you also you know what is this costing to run? So some people ask that because the, there was somebody that posted in the Crown Royal group the other day. You know, is it normal for my electric bill to spike or something like that? So it's through this app that I can confidently say that for our area, but let's assume 15 cents per kilowatt hour. This wood burner costs about I figure 18 but less than $20 a month and that's just looking at the energy usage in this app how many kilowatts it uses in a month and then multiplying that by your price per kilowatt hour so I can consistently tell somebody or, or very confidently tell them hey this is roughly how much it should cost you're you know it, it, with just a one pump system and a wood burner you know, it shouldn't be jumping $75 a month or anything like that. And again, if there's an issue, I can see that. So my circulator pump runs consistently at, I think, 140 watts. Something that you can see it uh, when, when I show the graph. I think it's like 0.14 uh, kilowatts. Um, so th that, again, is how I monitor this. Very handy for me. Uh, I, I know it's not perfect compared to like Fireboard or, or again, there's other uh, uh, devices and apps like that, but I love it because I also use this app to monitor my whole house in case there's some sort of issue. Um, so I, I highly recommend it. I, I mean, go ahead and look out there for other similar devices and things like that. Um, I'm very pleased with it. Um, I, I, I didn't mention so you do have to have Wi-Fi locally in your house that it connects to that and then your phone connects to your wife. I mean, you can you can view it anywhere, but that, that's how it is accessible anywhere. Um, it's not directly tied in um, via connection, though I'm not sure if it can be or not. That's something you'd have to look um, on, their, on their website or I think I bought mine off of Amazon, to be honest with you. And, and just to help you guys out, I'll go ahead and put a link to it uh, in the description. Again, I'm not promoting them by any means. Well, I mean, I know it sounds like I am, but, you know, th I'm just telling you what has worked for me in hopes that it, you know, works for some of you. Maybe you guys are interested, although it's not perfect using it for your whole house or something. Again, that, that's up to you. So, um, it's very handy. I, I finally broke down and got it about... I think it was earlier this year, so we're on year three. And before that, it was just kind of, I talked about putting a light, hooking up a, a light on the back of the stove such that when it was running, the, the fan, then I'd see the light and then I could monitor it. But, you know, that's just not reliable. It doesn't work when you're not home or anything like that. Um, so th this is kind of an instant. Uh, I was on vacation. Uh, I was gone for the holidays. And uh, I'd get the notification on my phone and I'd, message my father-in-law and say hey i can tell it's been running for 20 minutes that it needs filled it's out and uh so if he obviously you know uh was busy with something he'd get to it when he could uh, but it's just really handy that you don't have to be anywhere near here 
uh, to pick up on it. And uh, yeah, it I've got like breakers that aren't aren't identified in my breaker box what they are, so I can monitor them and, and try and pinpoint what what's on them and so on. So um, I think that's about all I have to say on this. So let me know what you guys think, what you guys use for other people to read in the comments. Um, and I uh, hope to have a video coming out uh, within the next couple months here. Um, highlighting the differences again between my E series and my father-in-law's MP series. Um, it's, it's been very interesting, um, not to give away too much, but it, there's a, a lot to say about an MP series and, and just, I, I think how good they are and how good it will be in the long run. Although it's just on its first season. Um, I'll also have, it may not be till summer. Uh, video series probably of replacing my ceramics and putting the new nozzle in uh, my nozzle is just it's just opened up and apart um, and that's where I was having issues with it kind of blocking folks my hot embers were falling in there and blocking it so I'll have a video of that at some point and again if you guys have any questions on these feel free to reach out or uh, ask them in the comments or whatever y'all have a good day give me a thumbs up like it let me know uh, if this was helpful to you. See ya.